Hi, I'm, I'm here today with Barry Hilton. That's me. What a pleasure to sit with you here today. And it's actually my birthday. So it's like, oh, happy birthday. It's like a birthday present to actually be with you. Yeah, wow. Thank you. Sorry, Sandy. Happy <laughs> birthday. I was, uh, last week I was 60. Wow. And that's why um, I've got one of my boys here, Robin. He came over to celebrate my birthday with me. Nice. You actually don't look 60, to be honest. No, well, well, I used to. But Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's funny. <laughs> okay, cool. So basically, um, I, I would like to know about you, Barry. We, we know a whole lot. Well, and I'd like to know about you, you as well. It's, it's so exciting. He's one of many. I've got, I've got six children. Wow. I have a daughter a and boy. five boys, including young Jack. Yeah. Who actually just got over the bout of um, kephalitis. He was in hospital yeah. this whole week. Oh, so, yeah, he's right. He's, he's going to grow up to be a man. That's what it's about, isn't it? Yeah. And do, do, do you want to tell us about you? Yeah, yeah. My name is Robin Hilton. Um, yeah, we came down here to come visit my dad for his 60th. Uh, we currently, me and my youngest brother, Tyler, we currently live in London. Uh -huh. I've been here for about five years now. Yes. Uh, working as an estate agent and, yeah, living it up. Enjoy hmm. it. I think he should be working as a model, don't you think, folks? Out there? Look at this boy's He's profile. He's handsome. <laughs> Very handsome. Like, it's such a contrast. You are in the in the in the, in the estate uh, business, and he's like entertaining us. You know, you know, when we we we're, we're being brought up, our parents don't be well secretly. Weren't you hoping that he'll be a comedian as well? Well, you know what? My father forced me to become a tradesman. Oh. He didn't give me the choice. So. I've always said to these guys, do what you want to do, man. Mm. And that they've grown up with knowing nothing else. Mm. They've grown up with me being away, working on stage, wow. doing this, doing that. So that becomes normal to them. Yeah, yeah. Our younger boy, Tyler, who's here with us as well, he's just too shy to come on the camera. <laughs> but he is in the business as well, but he's on the camera side. He's so on the camera side. He does the visuals. And my older boy, Bradley, does it as well. And Jamie, my one boy, Jamie, mm. he's a musician. So wow. Geez, yes, I've, I've listened to some of his music. That's very, very it's good. beautiful music. Yeah. 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 yeah, I have. I think Tracy's the same stable, stable one, eh? She yeah. just keeps it together, my daughter. <laughs> she's a woman of the family. Well, absolutely, and of course she's, she's a mum now, so she's got to keep it with a really cool guy from Italy. Mm. So much, I think mm. it's got something to do with the passport, Tracy. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's very, very good of you, her natural, yeah. and just making me chuckle the whole, the whole way through. But anyway, uh, let's, let's talk about your career, Mary. I see you were in Australia recently. How did that go? Great. We did, uh, I did Perth. And I did Brisbane, and of course I did the um, iconic mm -hmm. Sydney Ho Opera House with 1,500 people who came to see my show, mm -hmm. which was great because they only actually advertised it mm -hmm. for 12 days. Wow. So I got 1,500 people come to see my show within in 12 days of advertising, so wow. that was great. So they're planning for, it, for us to go back now and do a more extensive tour, mm -hmm. but with a four-month window, so you need that. You know? mm -hmm. But the Australia is just power, but it's, it, it's funny, as big as the Sydney Opera House is, mm -hmm. it is almost a third of the size that I worked at in Carnival City, wow. in Joburg. I did 4.2 4. thousand people wow. at Carnival City. It's a Sydney Opera House is, you know, 1,500 people, but it cannot 2,200, I believe, but it was... Uh, during the week and it was a great time and I'm very fortunate. I work all over the world, so yeah. I've, uh, I, I, in September I was, I, was in, I was in Kuala Lumpur. Okay. We did the Kuala Lumpur Comedy Festival and I was, I was lucky enough to be one of the headliners there. Uh, I've done Hong Kong Comedy Festival, I've done quite a lot of stuff, I've been in many countries. Wow. So it's great and I love my job. The thing is, I still enjoy working. And the energy, you've got so much energy when you're on stage. Oh, I love it. Uh, You've seen that? Oh, always. Uh, yeah. Is he like that at home? Always. <laughs> but Robin's friend as well. Very good. Robin's naturally friendly. You can tell. You can tell. Look at, look, at, look at the smile. You can just tell that, oh, come on, man. If we throw him on stage right now, no, he'll, he'll, do he'll just do it. Smitty. Yeah. So, uh, you're going to Zimbabwe very soon. Absolutely. Next week. Mm. We're going to Zimbabwe soon. You, 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 week after. You've been there a few times. Yeah, quite a few times. I do well there. I've been to Budweo mm -hmm. and I've been to a couple of other places which I, for my life, I mean, I can't pronounce. Mm -hmm. um, but I could pronounce them in a sort of worldwide pronunciation, American dollar. Mm -hmm. 
so that's what I've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> but Zimbabwe is great. No, it's, it's fantastic. I love it. The people in Zimbabwe are beautiful people. Mm. I really believe Zimbabwe is taking a bit of an up, you know. Mm. Some people will disagree with that. Yes. But from every time I go there to Zimbabwe, I see a difference. I see a difference. I see a difference. Um, so, next, the, the week I'm doing, I'm, I, I believe I'm in Joburg the one night, then I'm in East London, and then East London. I'm going to Zimbabwe, and in Zimbabwe, I'm going back to Joburg, and then I'm coming to Cape Town. Oh, so it's quite wow. a big deal. Uh, yeah. Durban, in fact, I'm going to. I'm going to Durban. And then you come back. Then coming back. So it's quite a mission. Oh, nice. Talking about Zimbabwe, obviously, you do have a link. To Absolutely. Well, I was born in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. I was born in then the Lady Chancellor's nursing home, mm -hmm. as they spoke in those days. <laughs> but you didn't grow up didn't, there. No, I didn't grow up there. I was, I was a baby in arms when we left. In fact, I was uh, I was less than one, and I, I, was, I spoke very early uh, in my life. And I remember the first words I said to my father in 1957 was, sell the farm. Sell the farm? <laughs> <laughs> you got to be speaking to Barry. <laughs> so, yeah, Zimbabwe is a wonderful place, and I really enjoy working there. Okay. We've worked many, many places there. The last couple of years I've been working on American cruise liners yeah. and uh, Australian cruise liners and yeah. whatever. And it's quite amazing to tell South Africans, yeah, I'm working on the cruise liners. Oh, yeah, well, I've been on the MSC. Mm. So, no, 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 this is American cruise liners and Australian. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's actually quite nice working on the cruise liners because yeah. you get a chance to travel. Yeah. And, and the, the, the one I like the most is uh, Holland America Lines because they allow me to take Sandy on oh, and nice. Jack. And Jack. And there's, you know, the, the ships are famous. they're like hotels, they're massive, they've got a crash, there's everything, so we have a great time. And I'm really fortunate that my job takes me all that. I mean, how's this? I stay in the Monas. Yeah. I mean, look, uh, there's a reason why I stay in the Monas, I didn't realize that. I got, I got a deal from the DA, mm -hmm. and they gave me a free house in the Monas, free car, schools. Wow. Bloody, fantastic. But I didn't read the small print in the... What does this, what does it say? Well, it says there, should there ever be no oh, whales no. present, I have to be the first reserve. Living <laughs> 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 so, uh, from that, I need to come to you and, and just ask you uh, about, about your dad. Obviously, you spoke about you know the 50s, the 1950s. Do you know what name he used during that time? Was he was he known as Barry Hilton? Yeah. David. David, yeah. Barry uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 told that when we were about probably about 11 or 12. Yeah. We asked my dad, we, we saw it somewhere, he wrote, wrote it down. Yeah. Yeah. Luke Berry. Luke Berry. It's a long story. My mum, my mum for some obscure reason, called me David, but wanted me to be called Barry because she was scared people would call me Dave. So what they do, they call me Baz. So go figure. So operation failure on that one. But Barry Hilton, I think that's my name. You know, you yeah. are what you are, yes. you know. Um, my, my little boy Jack, I named him after my late father. And when I said to Sam, yeah, okay, if it's a boy, because we didn't want to know. If it's a boy, I'm going to name him Jack. And she went, Jack! <laughs> She, she said, but don't worry, because, well, see, you like because that Jack's well. not going to be Jack, he's going to be a girl. So, when Jack was born, yeah. and I said, guess what, there's a Tully, <laughs> no, we called him Jack, but now Jack has grown into that name, he's just Jack, he's just yeah. Jack Black, Jack Nicholas, there's Jack. so many Jacks. And I think me and Tyler were very really upset about that as well, we wanted his sister. Yeah, oh, you guys wanted a sister, yeah, to be oh, yeah, Jack. yeah. No, I mean, uh, speaking about that, Tell us about Barry Hilton, the dad, your dad, because because when, when we look at him, you know, like I was hoping he was going to do some stunts for me. I want stuff. to tell you, they used to get bluxom properly when they were children, <laughs> at least once a week, even if they didn't need it. And I'd hit him on a bum and say, what's that for? <laughs> That's credit. <laughs> Because you're going to make nonsense when I'm away. <laughs> That's true. No, we, we had fun. Eh? Yeah. We had fun growing up. My boys are cool. We did a lot of things together. When I was at home, I made sure that I was at home with the kids. He's, you know what? He's st we're still sitting on social media. He's like, if he's not posting something about his work, he's posting something about his family. Yeah. And all to you. Yeah, we, uh, my, my dad's great uh, We get, it, we get so asked questions a lot at TV. Whenever we meet people and they find out that my dad's very ill, the first yeah. question that pops out is to tell me a joke. 
No, I was asking something about yeah. Tyler. Yeah. If you, you will make an appearance hopefully just now. Mm -hmm. Tyler um, mentioned the fact to the team he's working at in England. I was very proud of this. Mm -hmm. he's, he's, he said to them, uh, no, my dad's in the business. So that's all he said to them. So one day, this guy comes to Tyler and says, is your dad Barry Hilton? Tyler said, yeah. Because he doesn't go and say, yeah, my dad's Barry So this guy said, is your dad Barry Hilton? Yes. Sheesh. He's funny, mate. And then all the other guys in the work actually went and said, came to Tyler and said, geez, your dad's funny. So, but I think it's wonderful that Tyler didn't walk in and say, my dad. My dad. He just said, my dad is, my dad is Barry. Yeah. He's my dad. Yeah. So I'm very, I'm very happy about that. Do you wanna do you wanna pop in and just show us your face? Should we try and get Tyler? Come through. He's gonna come, come down, ladies and gentlemen. Girls, what I need you to do now is prepare yourself because Tyler now is gonna get a tirade of photos. This is Tyler Hilton. He's the shyest boy in the whole family. In fact, he's 23, gonna be 24 this year, and still he's never taken his underpants off in the shower because he's not. He's too scared to see what it looks like. Okay, I think I'm the privileged one. I'm like, I want three men, handsome man. And, oh man. Um, no, I think your dad will go to Zimbabwe if I send you a message, right? You'll be like, Bob, get your girl out of here. Get your boy out of here. <laughs> okay. No, we're lucky, and they're going back to England today. Mm. So they're getting the last bit of sunshine they can possibly get. Get to go time. back to that. Oh, well, yeah, that's yeah, that's when, when we arrived here, everyone thought you were sick. You yeah. say yellow. <laughs> and you guys are going to the snow. Oh, it's terrible. Do you have anything coming up in England? Uh, later in the year. No, nice. So, Barry, we've seen you on the Roman's Pizza adverts. Yes. Do you want to tell us about that? Roman's Pizza adverts, really cool, nice and easy, mm -hmm. great direction, great. Um, people that work on the thing. Yeah. Well, I lost for a second. Great talent. They just say to me, Baz, here's the script. Uh -huh. What do you think? Uh -huh. Okay, we do that, we do that, we do that. The director says, Baz, what about this and this? Yeah. We all work it as a team, yeah. you know, and it's really, really cool. So the, and the pizza, we, we shoot those adverts in a matter of hours. Really cool. The Savannah adverts that I used to do, which I still loved, I wish I was still doing them, but mm. you know, you can't do everything forever. Yes. And I did, and I'd like to thank Savannah at this moment in time for giving me those opportunities. They were really cool, you know, mm. the yellow suit, the bomb, and the monkeys, <laughs> this and that. So, Savannah was more uh, focused. On you. Yes, it was a great thing. So it was oh, really good fun. Cool. It was really good fun. And I just, I just love the fact that I'm still able to work. Yes. You know, it's, it's really nice. I can just, I have fun. I just wake up in the morning no. and think, wow, what a job. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing that even as the young generation, we grew up knowing the Well, oh, absolutely. And you know, what I think about my humor mm. is the fact that it's accessible to everybody. Yes. It's not political. Yes, it's, it's not. not this, it's not that. Not it's accessible all. to you. Your mum could laugh, yes. you could laugh, yes. your granny laugh, your kids will laugh. Yes. It's, and I'm very really blessed that I can do that. And you know what's more amazing? The fact that you can see the stage that you actually enjoy it. You see, because I love working on stage. But like, things will happen, for instance. I, I was reading, reading an article about the, the plight of the, the car industry yeah. in South Africa. And I thought to myself, wouldn't it be great if General Motors opened up a new plant in East London mm. and they, they can start making the new Opel Corsa. <laughs> but if you saw that on the page. I made a very <laughs> So there we go. So, that, you know, so that's how I write. And that's as, that's as political as I would go. Yeah. You yeah. know, that is definitely political as I would go. Mm. Uh, but I just like talking about life and what happens with yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Oh, beautiful, man. Usually when I go overseas, my opening line is, yes, I'm South African, mm -hmm. give me your wallet. <laughs> it's a lot. And then I tell the guys, you know, it's not like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We don't only take the wallet, we no. take the car, we take the cell phone. <laughs> it's worse than that. <laughs> no, it's, you know what? I love South Africa. I love it too. I'm, I'm very blessed that I can choose to live basically anywhere I want. I, mm. I, I, I hold the British passport. Mm. But I'm a South African, guys. Mm. I'm a South African. Mm. I'm staying in South Africa. Yes. That's the way it is. Yes. Because this is the greatest place in the whole world. Precisely.
Beautiful. Thank you so much, Barry, for even taking a few minutes to sit with me here. And, it was absolutely and wonderful. Chat. Um, even though you just wanted to see that bloke. Oh, said, man, that bloke is handsome. Been, I'll get, uh, listen, is guys, there? she's going to get married to this guy that's working in the hotel. You're all invited. <laughs> He's such a brilliant man. It's amazing. So, uh, Barry, where with your bookings? Oh, Obviously, yes. um, you can go onto our site, you can find my management at mm -hmm. the moment, Sandy. Mm -hmm. um, I'm cheap. You can get her uh, on my site, barryhilton.com, mm -hmm. or you can get Sandy at barryhilton.com. Mm -hmm. And of course, I'll give you her number. Sorry, Sandy, but you're going to get inundated, but thank you. <laughs> it's brilliant. So if you like amazing. wanting to be with me, yeah. it's plus two seven uh -huh. eight two seven three double one three double one. Oh, you know, 082 okay. 731 Wonderful. You know the times my manager tells me when to do, when to dress, when to wake up, what time to do, what to eat, not to do this. You're but it's my own fault everything. because yeah. I married her. You married her. <laughs> and she's amazing. She's totally amazing. You know, just uh, just before I came yesterday, she, she sends me an email says, bye bye. I want you to do A, B, C, D. I'm like, okay, Sandy. Yes, Sandy. Yes, Sandy. She's Sandy. Strict, don't you? Oh, she's so strict, but she's. She's lovable. Did you know that when she did that, we, we were in between transporting our boy Jack home from hospital? Oh, she, you know, it's, it's totally amazing. Because three days ago, when I contacted her, she says, Bambai, Jack is not well. Yeah. Just, just, just give me a, a, a minute and I'll get back to you. But you know what? She's still so efficient. available and efficient, even if she's got a little boy in hospital. Thank That's you, amazing. Sandy. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Sense. Why, well, married you, girl. You can stay at home for another 49 years, but not a day after that. You're going to be on. I'm telling you that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank no, you, Mary. All right. Great. Thanks, guys.